Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I don't know if you're familiar with this, the fables of uh, Asop, 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 I think it depends how you, uh, you pronounce him, uh, that uh, ancient Greek, uh, I don't know how to call him, but anyway, story writer, um, he, uh, he talked about the hare and the turtle, the turtles, turtle, you know, how the hare was faster and the turtle eventually, um, you know, the fable that they got ahead of a mighty uh, hare, the rabbit, who was getting ahead of uh, the little turtle. But the turtle was working and working and working and working and the hare was going around and talking with everybody and doing it. And then eventually the turtle won the competition. Uh, so the same is I think here. The West, you know, is like uh, living in America, showing all these lights and James Brown dancing and you know Drago just stays over there and watches, you know. But in the end, fucks him up, right? So um, the same thing here. We have all this uh, uh, entertainment uh, industry, uh, so-called media, that tell us that hey, the Ukrainians are doing this, the Russians are that, everything is beautiful, and the Russians are just. But if you look at it on a graph, it's a continuous ascendance. Okay, so it has a little bit of down, but then again, uh, again, uh, down, again, uh, but it's going up. Uh, if you look at the direction, is a arrow going out and up. Uh, but the other ones are saying, no, the Russians are going down like this down. That's how the, the, the stupidity is. So let's see what's going on in this article. This article comes from Ukrainska Pravda. And it's, it is from uh, December 18th, 2022, Sunday, today. They tell us that Russian army concentrates on offensive on two fronts in Donetsk Oblast. Again, remember, it was a counteroffensive for you, of Ukrainians, which it was, you know, da -da -da, you know, the little bump. But it's still going up, little by little, with this much force. That's how much the Russians are fighting here, I think. Just this. Why? They have the potential. After all, they, if they want to make a, I don't know, a general mobilization, they will have 30 million ready right there. And then what? But you say, well, it's not only the number of the people, Emil. Okay, I got it. But do you think that the Russians are fighting with all their stockpile? I don't think so. But hey, I don't know. Uh, neither anybody else, unless the uh, secret services or, I don't know, how do you call it here? Intelligence community. <laughs> They're still looking for the uh, weapons of mass destruction and those uh, mobile labs that Saddam had. <laughs> they didn't find them yet, but they will. They're working on it. The Russian occupying forces are concentrating efforts on offensing, oh, offensing, <laughs> offensive attempts on the Bakhmut and Avdivka fronts. Yes, they will get those, uh, but everything takes time. Patience is used to be a virtue, and it is. Why? Because uh, the same tick 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 tick. Instead of choo 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 choo, Bakhmut. Remember, we want to take Bakhmut. Source: Evening report by the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine as of 1800 or eight on 18 December. So at 6 p.m., this is what the Ukrainians said, and I'm quoting: The enemy is trying to regain the loss, the lost positions in the Liman front. On the Zaporozhia front, they are repairing the railway infrastructure to improve logistic support. They concentrate efforts on conducting offensive actions on the Bakhmut and Avdivka fronts. On other fronts, the Russian forces are conducting defense, concentrating their efforts on restraining the actions of units of the defense forces of Ukraine. So the Ukraine are trying to uh, uh, conduct offensive operations as well. Good for them. All right, so details. On December 18, the Russian occupiers launched four missile strikes and fired about 20 rounds of anti-aircraft fire. Civilian infrastructure and civilians were affected. The threat of Russian forces air and missile strikes remains on the entire territory of Ukraine. All right. On the Volin and Polisia fronts, the situation has not changed significantly and no signs of the formation of offensive groups have been detected. On the Siverschnia front, the settlement of 
Bilokopitove, Sumi Oblast, was hit by mortar fire on the Slobozhansknya front. The Russian army is holding a group of troops in the border area of Belgorod Oblast. They carried out tank, mortar and artillery attacks in the Kharkiv Oblast. As I always said, I got to learn from these weasels that whenever the Ukrainians Ukrainska Pravda or the new voice of Ukraine or Ukraine form mention tanks on a on a uh, front that means tanks that means offensive okay but that's just an assumption based on my uh, because I read other articles and I find uh, the not the truth but a com they complete the the piece of news saying yeah they are, they uh, the Russians conduct offensive uh, you know maneuvers over there they try to advance on this front on this front. And then I compare that with this, with uh, Ukrainska Pravda or whatever this is, New Voice of Ukraine, and I say, aha, so where they had tanks, and tanks usually, right, are for the offensive, not for the defense, but if you're running and you use them for defense, but uh, whenever you, I, that's the pattern, and I, it, it's been consistent. So, uh, let me see what's next. The next is the Kupiansk Front. The Russian forces shelled the areas of Yadidnye, Kislivka, and about five more in Kharkiv Oblast and Luhansk, Luhansk Oblast. All right, now is the Liman. On the Liman front, which is usually an offensive for these guys, for the Russians, such settlements as Makivka, Plocha, Ploschanka, and two more in Luhansk Oblast were hit. So no offensive here. On the Bakhmut front, the Russian army used tanks and all kinds of artillery to attack the settlements of and one, two, three, four, five, six, Avdivka, Bakhmut, Shasiv, Yar, Klishchivka, Dilivka, a lot of Dilivkas here and, and Donetsk Oblast. So Donetsk Oblast, again, uh, they didn't use here any tanks. They didn't say anything, anything about tanks, which would uh, uh, not confirm my theory, but believe me. On the Avdivka front, the Russian soldiers inflicted fire near Avdivka, Kraso, Krasnohorivka, Marinka, another one in Donetsk Oblast. In Zaporozhia and Kherson fronts, the settlements of, and I give about Zaporozhia Oblast, and then and the city of Kherson were affected by Russian attacks. There are casualties are more among, can you fill them in the blanks? So there are casualties among, yes, civilians. During the day, the Ukrainian aviation landed six strikes on, air, on the areas of concentration of personnel, weapons and military equipment and three strikes on the positions of the Russian forces' anti-aircraft anti missile systems. Rocket forces and artillery units of the armed forces of Ukraine hit two ammunition warehouses within one day. So that's the little summary coming from the Ukrainians general staff. What we take out of this, Russian army concentrates on offensive on two fronts in Donetsk Oblast and the Ukrainians are fighting back. People die and other people count money. All right, and the guys who count the money, they're far away and the guys who die are in the middle of it and the people who starve and exposed to elements are there because... All right, so this is an informative uh, mainly on, uh, on whatever the Ukrainians are claiming. Now, you probably, when they talk about uh, the Russians' uh, achievements, as I always say, multiply it by three. And when, they talk about, when Ukrainians talk about their uh, losses, you know, um, again, uh, multiply it by three. When they are talking about the Russians' losses, divide it by three. Okay, that's the way it goes. And the same is valid for uh, the other side. Why? Because that's how a human works. And... These guys are both human. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.